Hello everyone, I'm Catechus Gaming, and today we will be continuing the guided walkthrough for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last episode, we tried to save the Deku Tree, but failed. Miserably. Because of this, we were tasked to head to the castle to begin a journey to save the world. Kind of a lot of pressure for a lazy little kid, huh? Well, to the castle we go! Now sit back and grab some snacks as we dive in. As you can see here with our file for Link, we have the spiritual stone of the forest, and we got a heart container from the boss. Here we go. We get to start off as little Link in his little house. What does Navi keep looking at here? Link's records? Oh, yeah, okay, so spider squished, that's the number of gold skulletas we've uh, tokens we've collected and largest fish cod is something we'll get to later same with the mar marathon time horse race archery contest so that's just yeah records of his accomplishments with mini games and side quests now outside in Kokori forest what we're going to want to do is head to the opposite side of the Deku tree so left of his house at the fork and exit the village through a convenient log in the wall. To a cutscene. Oh, so you're leaving without saying goodbye? I thought we were friends. Oh, hey, Saria. Saria, whatever your name is. You know, I knew that one day you would leave the forest, Link. Because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? Yeah, hashtag BFFs. Because of that, I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. I love his little derpy face, staring at it like he's never seen a flute before. There we go, we get the Fairy Ocarina, where we will learn a lot of different songs to play with this thing. Holy cow. Which is kind of sad that they don't do musical instruments anymore with Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. Same thing with No Companions. It's weird. When you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. Oh, I will. I'm gonna need you to teach me a song later. But for now, I'm going to slowly back away and run away from you. Such a weird, weird interaction. But there we go. Now we're in Hyrule Field. A big, vast, empty field that connects all the regions of Hyrule together. So we'll be here a lot. And painfully enough, we get to this area, and the first thing that happens is we get stopped by this stupid owl who needs to chat at us. Hoo hoo, Link, look, up here. It appears that the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. Hootie hoo. You will encounter many hardships ahead. This is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest of times. I hate this owl, so this is why he gets this voice. Go straight this way, and you'll see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there, as I'm sure you've been told. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. It's got these cool fourth ball breaking things, and it'll show explored areas that you've been to, with these buttons here. You'll also see some fourth ball breaking flashing dots where and where to go next. Did you get all that? Be very careful if you just mash A through this like I used to as a child. They switched the no and the yes, so you actually have to pay attention to what you're doing. Well, all right then. I'll see you around. Hootie hoo hoo hoo. I hate that bird. But anyway, now that that's over, we can actually explore the vast area of Hyrule Field. 
Now, if you want, you can make it all the way to Hyrule Castle in the single daytime, but it's difficult and it's a straight shot. And I like to explore. So this here enemy is called a pea hat. Um, just run away from it. Don't bother fighting it as a young Link at this point. It'll also shoot little pea hat spawns at you. That'll just chase you down. <laughs> just, just run from them. And as you can see, it's already turning nighttime. Uh, the day and night cycle moves very quickly in this game. So, yeah. We're not gonna make it. Additionally, looking here, um, just beside Hyrule Castle Town is Lon Lon Ranch, which we'll get to later. There's a lot of goodies there. And if we're out at nighttime, we'll have to fight stall children, which are just little skeleton people that'll follow you around and you can just stab to death. But if you kill a lot of them uh, at the same time, <laughs> I knocked his head off. <laughs> but if you kill a whole bunch of them, a big version will spawn and it just has a better drop pool. So if you want, you can farm some money. We're going to kill some time doing this. Practice our swordsmanship. Let's see if we can get one of these big ones to spawn. Come on, big guy. Oh, there's the big one. You can see the size comparison there. But they're no different than the little ones. Hey, you dropped a fiver. Kind of makes you wonder, like, who were the stall children? Like, were they people? Was there a big battle that fought here? A lot of people died? I don't know. If anybody knows the lore, feel free to let me know, because I don't. I just like stabbing skeletons. But just like that, it's already daytime. And we can watch the castle gate lower. Now, there is something you can do right now, and that is you can actually run up the chains. And let's see if I can do that the first time. All right, now if we get to the top of the chain and jump towards the middle of the bridge, we'll get money. We got a red rupee, which is 20 bucks, so it's actually worthwhile to do this. Now, let's try the other side. Another 20 bucks. And you saw that I got a second red rupee because I made it to the middle of the bridge. So in total, 60 bucks from that. Not a bad haul. But once you're in town, um, the first door here is pretty important. This is the guard house. In here is a infinite money spawn for you as young Link, where all you have to do is leave and re-enter and the pots will respawn. So, feel free to abuse this. And honestly, this guard does not care. He is not paid to protect these pots. But in the back is a box that we can crash our skull into and get another gold skeleton token. Bam. But right now, we're at max rupees 99. We can hold more, but we have to complete the skeleton side quest to get bigger wallets. So for now, I'm going to head out of there and into the proper town. Now in daytime, this place is full of people, but at nighttime, it's pretty much empty, except for uh, these two that will never stop dancing, ever. Now in town, there are two shops that we can use. This one back here, which sells equipment. And right now, this Forest Whitaker Eye given guy will sell arrows and Deku sticks. Don't waste your money on arrows. Uh, we don't have a bow, and Young Link can't use them anyway, so don't worry about it. He also has the Highland Shield for 80 rupees. Don't waste your money on it. We can actually get it at a cheaper price once we start climbing Death Mountain Trail. And additionally, we can get a free one in Kakariko Village, so it's a waste of money. Bombs are a waste of money too, because we don't have a bomb bag, so don't worry about it. And he also sells Deku nuts, but they're not really that useful, so save your money. And the shop next to him 
is a potion shop. Now in here, this very handsome salesman will sell more Deku nuts, but he'll also sell pose, fish, and bottled bugs. Those three items require bottles, which we don't have. Same with the blue fire, berry, red potion, which will heal health, and green potion that'll heal magic. All require bottles, which we don't have, so nothing to buy in here either. That weird looking guy just staring at us. But something we can do in this town is head over to the shooting gallery in the back. If we complete the shooting gallery, we can increase our Deku Seed capacity for a slingshot. We just gotta talk to this guy. Hey, do you wanna play a game? It's 20 rupees per play. Uh, yeah, I'm flush with cash. Let's do this. Okay. This is a game for grown-ups, though. Hyrule's famous shooting gallery. Take aim at the targets from that platform over there. Can you hit 10 targets? I'll give you 15 shots. Draw your weapon with B. Are you ready? Go for a perfect score. Good luck. All right, so like he said, we have to shoot 15, uh, 10 targets with 15 shots. And they're all rupees. Now they, if you fail, they'll always spawn in the same patterns, so you can get used to it and practice. And if you run out of money, head over to the guardhouse to get more. But just like that, we're at eight. We only need two more. Oh, we missed one. No. Ah. But if you get, if you hit eight or more targets, he'll let you replay for free. Two, three, now in the middle, four, got it, five, six, now the red ones, seven, eight, nine, and ten, perfect, wonderful, bravo, perfect, here's a fantastic present, boy. So there we go. We got an upgrade to our Deku Seed bullet bag. We can now hold up to 40 bullets. Plus 10. Awesome. If you want, you can keep playing for fun, but I'm done. I hate, I hate these little mini games. All right. Now to continue the story, you're gonna have to talk to this girl here. Uh, her name is Malin. Hey, your clothes, they're different. You're not from around here, are you, boy? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. Okay, well, my name's Malin. My dad owns Lon Lon Ranch. Yep, I'm famous. He went to the castle to deliver some milk, but hasn't come back yet. Okay, so now that we've talked to her, we can exit to the back here. And this is the Hyrule Castle Zone, where time will move normally again, unlike in a town where it'll freeze to either day or night. Hey, Link, this way! The princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. On this ground, time flows normally. But time stands still while you're in Lon Lon Ranch or in another town. If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Well, well, which way are you going to go now? Hooty hoo hoo. Do you want to hear what I said again? Uh, no, I never want to talk to you again. Take a hint. Ooh, you're a smart kid. Good luck then. Hooty hoo. Stupid bird. I'd rather just Navi tell me this crap instead of you. But if you um crash your skull into the tree he was sitting on, a gold skeleton will fall down that we can stab to death for another token. Bringing our total up to five. Now, what he's kind of getting at is the castle is on lockdown. Like, that gate's closed, there's a guard there, he won't let us through. And if we climb these vines over here, we can kind of take a peek up here. There's guards, uh littered all the way around the field and if they see us past the gate they'll throw us out quite violently 
So what we're going to want to do is head back into town. And we're going to notice that Malin is missing. What she's done, though, is head into the Hyrule Castle field area, which I guess we just missed each other. But she'll be standing next to this vine. And she'll only do this if we talk to her. Hey, are you going to go to the castle, Mr. Fairy Boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do, tee hee. Oh yeah, if you look for him, I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully, tee hee. So we get a weird egg from her, and this is an equipable item. And I cannot skip any of this text. There we go. So what we're going to want to do is actually put that on one of our C buttons. And hold on to it. After a full day cycle, so in the next morning, it'll hatch. And we need the hatched egg to continue on with anything. <gasps> Additionally, up here, throughout the game, we're going to find these things called gossip stones. And if we attack them, it'll tell us what time it is. Yeah. Other than that, until we get the Mask of Truth, it really doesn't say anything else. Now, to infiltrate the castle, we're going to have to stealth our way over to the top of the gatehouse. And then jump back here. And then make note of this boulder at the end of this pathway. There is a fairy fountain back there, and we'll be back to get it after the second dungeon. Now, we're going to have to zigzag and dodge through some, uh, some guards here. So, use the five Ds of dodgeball and carefully work your way through the middle of these two guards. Then, once you hit this pathway, follow it a little bit until we can get to this uh, back cliffside over here. Then climb this oddly colored part of the wall. Now run past this gossip stone and yeet yourself over the edge. Now, once you're over here, we can't run behind those guards. They'll see us because they're eagle-eyed or something. Instead, jump in the water. Unlike Wind Waker, Link doesn't run out of breath or stamina, and we can collect a few dollars. But once we're past them, we can get to this little corner here and hop ourselves out. Now we can continue on to the end. Once we get here, um, this here is Talon, Malin's father. Kind of looks like Mario, if you ask me. I think that was on purpose. But he's snoring away. Luckily, we got to uh, morning here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he sleep talks. Luckily, we just hit morning, so our egg turned into a chicken. And what we're going to want to do is get right up close to this guy and then use the chicken. Oh, what in tarnation? Can't a person get a little shut eye around here? Oh, hello there. Who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, owner of Lawn Lawn Ranch. Heard of it? Well, I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. I'm a big old lazy owner. What? Malin was looking for me. Oh, I'm gonna catch hell from her now. I messed up bad leaving Malin behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. What is that running motion? So yeah, all right. He's out of our way, which is good. Because we're going to have to enter that childlike hole in the wall over there. And to do so, we're going to have to grab these milk crates and push them over the edge. Don't worry, bottles are sturdy in Zelda games. They'll survive. God, could you imagine how powerful Link would be if he just had... If he just took all the bottles from these crates, had like 20 of them, just running around with 20 fairies and whatnot... 
Hashtag OP link. So yep, you're just going to want to take both of them, stack them on top of each other. Come on, Link, put your back into it. Act like you're not 12. There we go. That chime signals we're right, and then climb up, jump across, and enter the uh, hole in the wall. Doing so puts us inside the castle itself. Now be very careful. This is a uh, sneak mechanic we have to do. As we progress through the area, there's going to be guards patrolling, and we have to sneak behind them. But we can't get too close, or they'll see us and kick us out, and we have to start over again. So much fun. Luckily, there's not many of this kind of mechanic going on. So once he's walked across, we just run behind him. Now this area has two, and they're kind of off key from each other. Let's see if we can just run past them now that they're in the back, and we can. Now this guy, you can climb up the garden trellis and crawl over him, or you can just wait ever so patiently for him to get to the back there. He's almost there. There we go. Now we can just run past here. And we don't have to deal with trying to crawl over the trellis. It's just really hard to get Link's perspective. You have to watch his shadow very closely. Now in this one, again, one's going to walk in short bursts. One's going to walk in long bursts. So we just got to wait till the timing's right. Very, very, very... <laughs> slow progressing zone okay now that one walks all the way to the back oh he stopped halfway wait for him to walk again there we go now we can run past here's another one we can't exactly see them but they're there yeah there we go there's one right there the rendering's gonna make this one difficult. And there's the second one. Just gotta wait for our moment. Hopefully young Link doesn't become adult Link while we're waiting. Okay, we're gonna wait for him to go back and then we're gonna pop in so we can hopefully start seeing them. Okay, that one's came down, so we got to be careful behind us. Oh boy, we're in trouble. Come on, walk forward. Here we go. Sneak behind him. There, we made it. Whew, got lucky. But that was the last one. Now we're in the center courtyard. And in front of us is Princess Zelda. But before we talk to her, there's something we can check out. This left-hand window here... Uh, can't see anything through it, but we can shoot it with our slingshot because we're, you know, a pesky child. Hey, you! Don't cause any trouble. And he'll literally throw a frickin' bomb at us because why not? But on the right-hand side, opposite, there are a bunch of Mario 64 paintings on the inside, which is kind of, kind of neat. They even got Luigi, who wasn't in 64, which is... R.I.P. Luigi, you didn't make it. But if we shoot this window, we'll get a red rupee worth 20. So totally worth it. But now that that's over, let's talk to the princess. Surprise Pikachu face. What? Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, they're kind of stupid. I don't know if you've noticed, princess. Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? That's my favorite food. I mean, then, are you... Are you from the forest? Then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Uh, I might. What's it worth to you? 
Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. That light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, right, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Uh, nice to know you, then meet you. My name's Link. Ah, Link. Strange. Sounds familiar somehow. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. That's a weird way to, uh... We just met! <laughs> Please keep it a secret from everyone. Uh, sure. The legend goes like this. So this is the rest of the legend that the Deku Tree started to tell us in the last episode. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. That's a little sexist to say his hands. Ha! 2023. Someone with a righteous heart makes a wish it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. But if someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from the evil ones. So now they're sages? Come on! That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said you need to collect the three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is, well, the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Oh, no, oh, it's the name. It's the name of the game. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yeah, door, stones, flute, got it. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll be a peeping link. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he's not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. No, yeah, no! What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning... yet. Yes. I told my father about the dream. However, he did not really believe it was a prophecy. But, I can sense that man's evil's intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Uh, if, if I say I don't believe you, will he have me executed? So, I guess, okay, I believe you. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. Yeah, I saw it in the opening credits. He has such terrifying power, but it's fortunate that you've come. 
We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go and find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. You know we're 12, right? Oh, one more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it'll be helpful for you. Oh, yay. A letter from Zelda. It has her autograph. I hope she made this letter out to eBay. Yeah, we do not want that in our C buttons, because I will just push that like a half-wit. Uh, you don't see me. I'm not here. Please don't arrest me. I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream is to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. I love how simple these, these songs are in the beginning. Again, he's just amazed, like, oh my god, I'm a musical genius, I already learned a song. You've learned Zelda's lullaby. Yay! Now I'm so sleepy. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Hopefully not into a dungeon. Oh, good, the field. Perfect. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. Like, with both hands, or is it just in their pocket? At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn the song. Then how'd you learn it? Remember, it will help prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Bit excessive. She's kind of a show-off, isn't she? Well, since we infiltrated the castle of Hyrule, met the princess, and even got her autograph, I think this might be a good time to stop. This has been part two of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time guided walkthrough. Stay tuned for the next episode as we go on a bit of a collect-a-thon in Kakariko Village. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe as it'll help the channel grow. Thanks.